Alright, it's Tam again. Gonna show you what I'm doing while I'm waiting for my bike to come back. Uh, I prime my rack here. I just got a. There's my wire wheel on my little Black and Decker drill. I just use that and then bust all the rust bits down and uh, then I'll prime it and uh, gets it pretty smooth and then there's the finished product there that's actually that's dried now so it's I just used a uh, yeah. well there's my light I had on but it's screwed up for me right now I think it overheated or something I just used Rust-Oleum uh, protective enamel I like rust oil and it's priced pretty good. It's better than the, you know, you can get that dollar a can stuff, but it doesn't come out nearly as good to me. But anyway, that's my racks, and uh, I've kind of changed my mind a little bit on the 26 inch uh, tires. I think in the morning I'll be ordering a set of 27 inch ITP XTRs with some Type 7 wheels. 14 inch. Anyway, that's where I'm at now. Just kind of showing you what's going on. Uh, everything is, my motor's all put back together and the stator's back in. And the only thing I'm waiting on now is, uh, let's see, what I had to get? Oh, the uh, brake piston assembly on one side. I was waiting for that to come in. So I've got, I've got that in and Got it to my guy, so he's gonna slap that in for me right quick, and then got the ride Sunday, so get ready for some good video on that. Uh, that's pretty much it. I'll have some more videos uh, once I get my bike back. I'm thinking probably Wednesday, get it back, and then I have to work it now. A pretty good bit on it, getting it ready to go, because I've got to work Monday through. Uh, Saturday, so pretty much Saturday night, it's probably early Sunday mornings when it all be coming together. I got a pretty good bit of work to do, so I'll be painting the frame on it also and installing the 4,000 pound winch. I've got tons of new parts that's going on it. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of welding on the frame, get the racks to work with me. But uh, anyway, that's it. Just kind of showing you how you how I paint my frames and all. Just go like that and you know, you prime it and then there's your finished product. Now I'm just gonna let it sit for a long period of time let that stuff big get good and dried. Cause that's always a pain when you got it looking good and you're messing with it and then the stuff you know, messing with it too early. Anyway, that's it.